Well, I'm just about out of the city now. Uh, the beach is to my left hand side uh, and I'm on a very, very quiet little track, which is good. Hopefully gonna hit the coastal road soon and hoping that's not too busy, but definitely glad to be out of the city. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> that was really scary. And like the noise of the lorries is <laughs> like something else. I was just like, just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling. I've got two more of those to get through today. <laughs> I survived all three tunnels with a coping strategy of singing as loudly as I could to myself. Making it to Kemmer for a very sunny lunch stop where I was to meet the first of many feline friends on my trip. I was just about to say, I've got the toughest climb of the day coming up. I didn't expect it to be the stairs. <laughs> Super cold. Uh, sun's gone in. I'm kind of coming back down through the valley. But what a descent! <laughs> Absolutely love that. I had to take it a bit more careful than I would like to with the bags, but still amazing nonetheless. Mm. Oh wow, it's so good. <laughs> it was market day in town, so how could I resist stocking up on some of the local Herma dates, my favourite bike snack. I was off exploring for the day and my first challenge was to negotiate this river crossing, thankfully not with the bike. Today I'm walking parts of the old Lycian Way. I've had to go across the river to get here. Uh, and now I'm in the lost city of Olympus, which is quite cool. I'm finding it kind of eerily quiet. <laughs> There's like no tourists here at all, which is cool, right? It's nice to have a place to yourself, but uh, in the first few days I'm finding it a bit unsettling. Uh, hopefully I'll get in my stride again soon. <laughs> I think I'm normally like this on a trip when I first get away. So um, yeah, just feeling a bit of a wimp about things. <laughs> My last stop for the day was a trip to Yunatash, Turkish for Flaming Stone. A one kilometre hike up the mountains took me to the site of the naturally occurring fire pits which burn through vents in the rocks. My first naturally occurring fire, marshmallow. Morning, so 
wanted to give you a sense of how cold it is. I've been in this accommodation for the last two nights and it's so cold here. So I've got the duvet on, I've got the winter blanket on and I've just tried to get up to get packed up and I've literally had to put all my clothes on and get back into bed. <laughs> yeah, I need some chai, I need some food and I need to get on that bike and get moving. It is so chilly. I'm all packed up, uh, about to leave Chirali. Uh, it's about quarter past nine in the morning, but the sky is looking quite ominous. Uh, it's difficult to see actually, but we've had heavy rain, thunder and lightning all night. So who knows what I'm gonna get today. Um, haven't got anywhere booked to stay tonight. This is the first time I've ever set up on a bike ride with nowhere to stay. <laughs> so let's see how we get on.